we have with us today the man coming from a royal house of bharatpur married a princess been an ifs a key diplomat at crucial historical events of the country like the china in 1962 pakistan during the reign of jiaul haq and sri lanka during the sri lankan accord and one of the last few of men who on the basis of merit went on to be the external affairs of ministers of india whose advice of not ignoring the sars nation was followed and demonstrated by modi ji when he became the prime minister in 2014 a perfect mix of learning plus scholarship and public life and politic political life a man with a razor sharp memory demonstrated by fear fineness of details in his books and audaciously brave to call a spade a spade I have grown up reading your books and today it's an honor to meet you in person a man who was retired hurt by his party but he is still 93 and not out we are welcoming today mr natwar singh ji with us so thank you thank you so much for giving me the opportunity and welcoming on the show decoding elections sir we know your love for writing and your book is so famous one life is not enough sir we all had this question why this title that one life is not enough you have achieved so much that few can ever imagine in their life no uh, no life is enough everybody wants to live longer and do much more for example uh, uh, i have not gone abroad for many years uh, i don't like to it very much but you know at this age if something happens to you if you are abroad uh, go to hospital This is one of the two things. I used to play a lot of games. I don't play any games now. I was a fairly good tennis player. I have given given it up. Uh, but there are uh, um, also compositions of old age. Uh, you don't get too excited. Uh, you don't get worked up. Uh, then you have a lot of time to read and write, uh, which I do. Uh, and I like to be. Mm. I like more, I like my own company. <laughs> okay sir. Sir Amrinder Singh ji ne ek bar kaha tha ki Amrinder Singh ji ne aap se 7 saal se baat nahi kari hai jab ye controversy hui thi jab wo Lok Sabha ke deputy speaker the. Parantu ab kyunki Amrinder Singh ji party mein nahi hain kya aapko lagta hai ki aap aur Amrinder Singh ji ab same page par hain aur kya ab aapki unse fir se vartalap start ho gayi hai? Abhi koi July August mein hum उनके साथ दो महीने ठहरे थे मैं और मेरी वाइफ उन्हीं के घर में ठहरे थे बस वो कोई झगड़ा नहीं खत्म अच्छा उनको मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग थी वो खत्म हो गई अभी आते हैं यहाँ भी मीट ऑफन मीट आफ्टर ही रिजाइन एज द चीफ मिनिस्टर आफ्टर दैट नहीं हम चार पाँच महीने मैंने देखा ना मैं दौरा नहीं करता अब आई डोंट गोर ऑट डेली being a diplomat did you think your diplomatic abilities and skills failed you during the oil for food walker controversy no they, it was it was mishandled at number 10 janpath uh, because they got involved they had no business to it uh, in the end nothing came out of it they instituted an inquiry under justice patra patra said that there is no evidence to show that net was saying in any way made any profit from the contract huh? the matter ended but i took it very seriously i i uh, i resigned from the um, congress party then then the sonia came here for some years to see me uh, it's all right but i haven't seen her for a long time i mean i've known the nehru family since uh, pandit jawaharlal nehru's time uh, then i worked 5 years uh, with mrs gandhi then i was minister in rajiv gandhi's government then i uh, got to know sonia i to see her almost every day but now the congress party is right down sir as you have served as a diplomat to many nations and especially to pakistan and i enjoyed the chapters in the book about it do you think what nehru G made a mistake in uh, referring to the UN when it came to the Kashmir issue. You have mentioned about Chapter Seven and Chapter Six that you know he should have approached the UN under Chapter Six and not under Chapter Seven. Can you please tell us and our viewers what that is? No, you see, he should have gone under Chapter Seven. 
Chapter 6 is dispute. Chapter 7 is aggression. He should have gone because there has been had been aggression from Pakistan. But when you went at the 6, the member said, well, listen, you already accept that there is a dispute. So what do you want us to do? The result is that the Kashmir question keeps coming up even now, after 73, 75 years. So this was a, but we had just become independent, didn't have the experience. When Mountbatten told him to go to the UN, and so we went there. Sardar Patel was not in favor. So he should have gone under the chapter 7. Chapter 7. That which says is ag aggression. That yeah. Pakistan provoked aggression on yeah. our country. Yeah, which is fact, they did. Yes. Send in their troops. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as a matter, if they had approached the UN under aggression, so we had the right to retaliate to aggression. No, it would have, it would not have become a question of. You see, it got into the Cold War. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Uh, sir, long before Jay Shankarji, a uh, lot of people are saying that IFS has become an external affairs minister. There was Natwar Singh Ji, who was really, uh, as people say, a person deserving for the job because you were an ex IFS. So, your views on India's policy towards China and how this uh, deadlock you said, you know, uh, will end and how should it end? Because you said in your book that China really practices real politics. And you were also during the uh, reign of Prime Minister Chong In Lee in 1962 war when he came to India. No, How should we no, solve no. from the lessons? No, in 62, I was not here. Uh, when Chong Lai came here in April 1960, mm -hmm. I was liaison officer with him. Yes. I just spent three, four hours with him. Uh, my judgment is, as I said here, he had come to settle the issue. Mm -hmm. But by then, things had got out of Jawaharlal's hand. He kept too much with himself and didn't take parliament in Tonde early enough. But when he did, things got out of hand. And he 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 could have settled it with them. Because the Chinese at that time, 1960, they still thought that we were more we were stronger than they were. Okay. So this is one of the major foreign policy failures. Uh, he put too much faith in China and then uh, we were not prepared for a conflict because he firmly believed that there will be no war between India and China. And sir, what is the key? Do you think that you know history is going through the same time today again? What do you think is the way out of this India-China deadlock that is going on currently? No, our relation with China, okay. The Chinese president has been to India four times. Modi has been there uh, uh, two times. Uh, they tried in Ladakh. Yes. Uh, but our people pushed them back. Now, China also realizes that the India of 2022 is not the India of 1962. And that, you know, we have uh, uh, economically, we are uh, power might self, uh, army, air force, navy are not what they were uh, 50, 60 years ago. So they know. And uh, this, the, the, the other day, uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi said um, that China and uh, Pakistan have got together and we have to be careful. China and Pakistan have been together for 45 years. There's nothing new. OK. Sir, uh, during the 2014, when you met Modi ji, when he was the Prime Minister designate, you had some things raised. That he ignored the SARS nation. That was one of the things that Modi ji very strongly addressed. And he focused on the SARS nation. And after that, he also called the SARS leader. On uh, his uh, swearing in. Pe, hai na? Because this was the first thing that you had kept in mind. And plus, there is one thing also that Modi ji keeps mentioning. That the UN also has 44 Muslim nations. And he has developed strong relations with the Muslim world. I think that was also advised by you. But then you said that there are three serious misjudgments that Nehruji, because of uh, his foreign failure or because of his overburdened with work, uh, that the government is still yet to address. What are the three uh, misjudgments of Nehruji you mentioned of foreign policy? No, the, the, the first was taking the uh, Kashmir issue to the Security Council. Okay. And that too is in the wrong chapter. 
Okay. Uh, the second mistake that he made was to put too much faith in China. Mm -hmm. Very too much faith in China. And uh, in my judgment, uh, he should on he he was a great prime minister, but he was not a great foreign minister. Okay. So there was nobody to challenge him at that time for 15 years because of his role in the freedom movement. Not only that, sir, he was too much well-read with international matters. Yes, he did. He did. He and did, he did. I think uh, if you say that he was not uh, that good, but he was still the best I think we had. No, no. He was the best that we had. Uh, but his dependence for Krishna Menon was not a healthy relationship for India. Okay. So now coming to the third most important aspect of your career that was about the Sri Lankan accord that you were there present because you were present during the reign of Nehru ji and then Indra ji and also Rajiv ji right and you got to witness the Sri Lankan accord very closely I um, was very closely associated but the fact is that uh, Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi changed uh, seven ministers who were dealing with Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. I was the seventh. Okay. So the president of Sri Lanka, Jairavandane, said to me, uh, Dr. Singh, India has sent seven fast bowlers, but I am still not out. <laughs> 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 so, but we did not handle uh, Sri Lanka as well as we should have. Uh, see, if you change your negotiator every few months, uh, it takes time to understand because it was a very complicated issue. And uh, he made one serious error. Um, uh, this is because he got wrong, wrong advice from the then raw chief. That poor fellow is now dead, Mr. Verma. Uh, he got Prabhakaran to come to Delhi. Yes. Uh, and uh, I had gone to Vietnam. So when I came at the airport, I told that there was a meeting at the Prime Minister's house and you are asked to be present. It was midnight. So I went there. And the whole cabinet, was, the whole lot was there. The, the establishment was there. And so I suddenly realized that something is... So, so I asked him, what's happening? He said, uh, I called Prabhakaran, he's here, uh, and I met him. So after the meeting, I said to him, but I said, why did you meet him? But he's given me his word that he will surrender the arms. I said, sir, but his word means nothing. I can give you in writing that he will not give the arms. He didn't. Yes. And uh, uh, he killed Rajiv. Yes, he killed Rajiv. Because he knew that Raji was coming back. Okay. In the next election. In he knew that due to intelligence. He so he said, Pele Khadam Kardu. Acha. It was very sad. Because Raji was a very, very decent human being. Sir, uh, now that you have been a witness, torch bearer, and participant of the history of these greatest years, do you think that there were similarities and there are similarities between Indraji and Modi ji? No, they are completely different personalities, totally, totally. And also the circumstances are different, the priorities are different, the world has changed so much. So, uh, you have mentioned that, you know, in this book you will uh, give the real reason why Manmohan ji became Prime Minister and Sonia ji could not. Wh what do you think for the viewers it is to know that why did Manmohan Singh ji become Prime Minister over Sonia ji? No, I don't want to comment on it. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Now that we are coming, uh, Indra ji advised you before you were coming to politics, you know, to have a thick skin. What advice do you want to give to the youth who today wants to come in the world of politics? Because sir, you surely have had a thick skin, right? Backed by skills and everything and your diplomatic careers. And yes, that's keeping you not out till now. But what is the advice that no, you should no, give? No, I, I don't have a thick skin. But I have a normal <laughs> skin. <laughs> uh, the, 
She was joking, just joking, joking because I knew her so well. Okay. Uh, no, I think uh, young people should come into politics because uh, mm, uh, if they don't come, then the wrong kind of people will come. The youth should come into politics, absolutely, as they they did in the freedom movement. Uh, young people came in, and uh, I am not saying a large number, but I think a certain percentage should decide that we are going to be politicians and we will begin from the bottom and work our way up. But the question is sir, when you were going to Pakistan as an ambassador, you called the Pakistani ambassador right and you asked for his advice and you said that you will tell everyone what to do but what to do and what to do and then Pakistani advisor gave you advice that said that never say that we are same kind of humans right. So I want to ask you to the youth who is coming into the politics, tell them what to do and what to do and what to do. No, first of all, you should be able to study all of us about our Swatanta Sangram history. Yes. Then you should be able to study Mahatma Gandhi what to do. Yes. What to do with Jawala Nehru, Sadar Patel. Because our freedom movement was unique. Yes. It was non-violent. Now, Gandhi knew that if he led a violent movement, the British would finish him. Okay. When he did it non-violent, they didn't know what to do with him. Okay. Uh, he stuck in their throat. So it was a unique, and the, so they should understand this. I am. We are a free country, so we don't have to. But they should know the background uh, that modern India is the creation of our freedom movement. Yes. Okay, order them accordingly, the greatest Prime Minister you worked under, Indra Nehru Rajiv, in the order of uh, your personal favourite to least. No, uh, uh, Indra Gandhi. Indra Gandhi, uh, okay. The greatest foreign leader you met in your lifetime, because uh, you have mentioned you met Castro and so many others. Uh, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela? He, he came to India during your years? Oh, four or five times. What was so unique about him, sir? That he was a Nehruvian or a Gandhian? No, 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 he was Nelson Mandela. Okay. He was a man who spent 27 years in jail under the most difficult circumstances and he came out without any bitterness. Okay, without uh, bitterness. Without, without bitterness. Kisi se badla nahi liya. And he made a conciliation commission. And then after the first term, he gave up the job and said somebody else takes it. The sacrifice that he made. Now nobody in India, no leader in India has spent 27 years in jail. The longest period that was spent in jail was by Jawaharlal Nehru, mm. nine, and a half, nine and a half years, but not continuous. And not in the conditions of the jail in Logan Island. Mm -hmm. they were, Mandela slept on the floor for 18 years. And then you read his autobiography, it's a remarkable book. Okay, so I mean, leaving Gandhiji and Nehru out, he is the, the one man that I think top. Okay, so what is your daily routine like these days? Well, I uh, get up at 7 o'clock, uh, then I read the newspapers, we get 6, 7 newspapers, I read them, I have my breakfast, then I have my wife and I chat, then we have four little dogs. Mm, I, take them around this, this lawn here. Um, then I get about from uh, 11 to 1, I, I write. I do a column for Sunday Guardian. And then I read a lot. Mm. You still read a lot, sir? I read a lot. Uh, and I have a library of 7,000 books. 7,000 books? Yeah. Wow. That's phenomenal. Half of it is here. Half is on my farm in Chhatarpur. Okay. okay. Mm. Then I have, uh, and now I am thinking of starting a 100 page book, Gandhi for Beginners. Gandhi for Beginners, okay. So I think I should be able to finish it by Gandhiji's uh, birthday on 2nd October. Should be, it'll be a small book, okay. 100 pages. And after the writing part? No, in the, after lunch I rest in the afternoon for uh, hour and a half. And then I hear the news. 
then people come and meet me and I, I meet them, that's all. But uh, I am on good terms with myself. <laughs> okay. So, uh, that helps. I, I, and I have, no, I have no worries, I don't worry about things. Yes, sir, I completely agree. Uh, okay, sir, the next question is, in our quest for lessons in politics, who do you think we should reach out next for the youth? At the moment? Yes, sir. No, you know, people of my generation are all dead. <laughs> so, I don't know who the new chaps are. I really don't. Uh, as an example, I mean, 25 years ago, we would have named so many people. For example, Jai Prakash Ji was alive. I mean, Nehru and others have died. Mm -hmm. But you could name somebody like him. Uh, or Ashok Mehta or... Mm -hmm. But at the moment... I... I really can't suggest to the youth as the ideal person. That, you know, he is the one you should look up to. I think uh, um, Sharad Pawar's daughter okay. uh, um, is, a, is a good, she's a good politician. She's mm -hmm. young and uh, she does well in parliament. And Mamta ji? Mamta also mm -hmm. uh, um, has a lot of potential. I, I can do it. But whether she will be acceptable to the whole of India is, to, is yet to be seen. So quoting you from the book, my reprieve could end any day. Soon I shall drift out of the harbour on a silent tide beyond the beat of time. Sir, I have read your uh, Walker Committee chapters from the book and I cannot return you what you have lost in person in reputation and career. But I stand with you for your dignity and surely India has lost to an able foreign minister during the right time it wanted it. I will make your message reach the youth who are watching it and uh, and would request you to put more pictures in your book because that gives us a memory down walk lane through your books. No, I have not lost thing. I was a lot of when uh, this Walker thing came up, uh, there was nothing in it eventually, and uh, I didn't feel sorry at all. A lot of people told me go and see Sonia. Although I said I'm not going at all. As a matter of my honor, I done nothing wrong, and here's your job. Keep it. Karam. I didn't. I have no regrets whatsoever. And if it were to happen again, I'll do the same thing. <laughs> because it, uh, I had to, I'm answerable to myself, ultimately, not to anybody else. And if I had felt that, you know, I had done something dishonest, all that, I would have felt miserable. But I had done nothing dishonest. Uh, and it was proved. They had an inquiry and Bhattak said, there's nothing interesting has done, which is wrong. Thank you so much for the time, sir. Thank we'll you. now begin with the book signing of the book. Ah. Because In whose name do I give it to? Dear Reader of Decoding Elections. Uh, uh, dear? Reader. Achy. Or Viewer of Decoding Elections. Your son has rejoined BJP? Yeah, he's in BJP, yeah. He rejoined BJP, sir? Yeah. Do you think that... Uh, I mean, uh, the years of your joining BSP were not good ones. I no, mean, just no, it was a mistake. It was a mistake, right, sir? Mm -hmm. Because it was a mistake. Uh, if you could have at that I, time, I was only six months, so I, I kept eleven. Because uh, yes, because if at that time you had, uh, I mean, licensed with the BJP, maybe uh, I mean that would have been a better option. The mm, the value system is different. I didn't understand, sir. Uh, for example, I am a good Hindu, hmm. but I am not enthusiastic about Hindutva. Okay. Hmm. Things like that, you know, fundamental differences. Hmm. But I, who who practices fundamental uh, things these days, right? All of, all of them. Most all of them. the most of the members of any ruling party, they hardly know the ideology of their party. They just mentioned about caring know, about uh, for being example, in power. Uh, in the last seven years, Mr. Modi has now did not used the word secular. Okay. Mm. But this is a secular country. Now, if this doesn't have a secular country, then we are in trouble. But but your son, he's still in BJP? No, he's uh, got his own views, so I don't influence him at all. 
Okay, mm. that's a good thing. But sir, as you know, uh, you when you write, uh, what I've noticed, you, I mean, uh, more than you express when you speak, you have a way for words when you write. I mean, you express it more beautifully when you write and through everything. Maybe because you have uh, developed yourself for the love of no, books. I, I read, I write better than I speak. Yes, mm. that's what I'm saying, sir. Mm. Because it was a beautiful journey reading through your mm. book. I can't, uh, I couldn't for the last two days keep down your book. Mm. Uh, I'm like so much. I took it to the hospital and then from coming back from there, last full night till 4 a.m. Mm. And then, आप लोग यकीन नहीं मानेंगे मेरा जो time था सर के साथ वो कल का था. परंतु क्योंकि मैं हॉस्पिटल में इट वाज अ वेरी हेक्टिक इमरजेंसी और मैं सो भी नहीं पाया एंड आई रियली वांटेड टू फिनिश द एंटायर बुक बिफोर आई केम एंड स्पीक ऑन अ नंबर ऑफ इश्यूज आई जस्ट कॉल्ड हिम सर प्लीज मेरे को कल का टाइम दे दीजिए एंड सर वाज वेरी काइंड इनफ ओके ओके प्लीज प्लीज थैंक यू सो मच मान थैंक यू सर फॉर योर टाइम थैंक यू वेरी मच